Agents and tool use in general are one of the key concepts of Langchain. And we want to make it really easy for people to build these types of agentic workflows. So one of the big things that we focused on with 0.1 is making agents in Langchain easier to understand, easier to customize, and more reliable in general. And so I want to walk through what, Lang what agents are at a high level and then also some of the improvements that we've made. So at a high level, agents involve taking a language model and asking it to reason about which actions to take and then taking those actions. And oftentimes that is in a loop that repeats until the language model decides that it's done, that it doesn't want to take any, uh, any actions. And so there are a few different things here that are important to understand. And, and so one of the things that we've added is a conceptual page for agents that goes over all of these. It goes over the schema things. So we have a concept of an agent action and an agent finish and intermediate steps. Agent action is basically uh, when the LLM decides to take an action. An agent finish is when it decides to respond. And then intermediate steps are basically the action and the observation from that action um, that have happened previously. And so we explain that in some detail here. We then cover what an agent is. An agent basically takes in um, uh, some inputs as well as any intermediate steps that have already happened and decides what to do next. We then uh, have a concept of tools and toolkits. And these are basically representations of actions that a language model can take along with the function for actually taking those actions. So it's basically the, the schema definition for what should go into a function and the function itself. We can then combine an agent and tools with an agent executor, which is basically a loop that runs to call a language model, figure out what to do. Take that, take the tool that it decides to use, call it, get an observation, and then repeat until it decides that it's finished. So we've added this conceptual page um, with far more detail than what I just explained to cover all of that. We've also added this page that covers the various agent types that we have in LangChain. So there are a lot of different agent types. Um, there, there are, are, I think, seven that we have uh, documented here. Some of them are good for local models. Some of them are good for the newest OpenAI models. Some of them support parallel function calling. Um, some of them support uh, uh, conversational history really easily. Some of them only support uh, simple tools like with, that have a single input because they're generally prompting strategies that are useful for, for simpler models. Other of them support more complex uh, uh, multi-input tools. And so we've added a table that documents all of this um, and, and also has some uh, verbiage on, on when to use. Because a, a big uh, a question that we get is when to use certain agents in different scenarios. And so we want to have more guidance around that here. All of these tables or all of these agent types in this table also have their own page that covers uh, how to invoke it, um, how to use it, um, how to create it. And a big part of this is we've actually also pulled the prompts out from the agents themselves. So the prompts are really, really important to guide the agent to what to do. And so previously they were obfuscated a little bit in the agent definition. Now what we do is we have the, the uh, prompts live outside and then we have these creation functions that take in an LLM tools and prompts and then create this agent. So I wanna walk through what this looks like in a notebook a little bit. Um, so we're gonna import some stuff that uh, we know we're gonna use. We're then gonna load the prompt that we have from uh, the hub. This is a really simple prompt. Um, we're then going to uh, load the language model that we want to use. Um, we're then gonna load the tools that we want to use. Now that we have the prompt, the language model, and the tools, we can start to create our agent. So we can pass those in we can create, we can get back the agent object. This right now doesn't execute any tools. Um, it just kind of like takes an input and, and decides what to do. Part of that input always needs to be this intermediate steps key. This is used to track any progress that the agent has already made. So we can pass in this input. We can get back a result. Um, we can see that this result um, if we want to look at the full result, we can see that this is an agent action thing. Um, and it's saying, hey, you should call this tool um, with this input. But again, this isn't actually doing anything. So if we call this again, this is stateless. If we call this again, it'll give us back the same thing because we haven't actually executed anything. In order to execute it, we need to use the agent executor. So here we pass in agent and we pass in tools. Um, and now when we evoke it, it will, it will do things under the hood um, and return a response. 
Um, and so we get back uh, this response. If we go to Langsmith, we can see exactly what's going on under the hood. So we go here, we can see the agent executor, and we can see that there's basically three important calls that it makes. First, it makes a call to OpenAI. Um, it has this tool that it's using because we're op using the OpenAI function calling agent. So it has this function definition here. It's got the prompt here. Again, as you can see, we're using a really simple prompt. Um, and then it's outputting this, this function call thing. We can then see that it calls this Tavili thing, the Tavili search, which is which is a search engine, um, and returns some output. And then we can see the final call to the LLM, um, where we have a more, this is, this is the input now, the input's longer. So we have kept track of these intermediate steps. Um, and we can see the output here. If we want to see even more exactly what going, is going on, we can we can do this. We now have access to the prompt templates and the parsing. So here, if we go to the, the chat prompt template, um, we can see that the input is, we have a few different things. So we have the input, uh, which is the input key. Um, and this is the original question that we asked. But now we also have these intermediate steps. So this is the tool call, um, as well as the observation um, that we built up over time um, and 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 uh, are now using to basically tell the agent, hey, I've already done this. I've already looked it up. This is what I got back. Can I respond now? The last thing that I want to briefly cover is the streaming part of the agent. Um, so here, you know, when we invoked it, it, it actually took quite a while to stream back the responses. So if we stream here, the things that we're streaming aren't tokens. They're the steps from the agent. Um, and so we can get first uh, the action that it takes. Uh, we then get back the observation from that action. Um, and then we get back here the final output. So we can use this to stream uh, the steps that are being taken and communicate that to end users um, so that they know that stuff is happening. Agents um, have always been a huge part of LangChain and, and more generally just tool calling in general. And so we've put a lot of emphasis on uh, making it really clear how to use agents in LangChain. We've added this conceptual guide. We've added this uh, table of uh, 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 different agent types. And we've added a bunch of guides on how to build a custom agent. Um, this is maybe one of the most popular ones uh, because it actually goes through what an agent built with LSAL looks like. Um, and so it's, you know, it's more complicated than calling a single line, but you have way more control over the inputs, the formatting, the prompts, um, the output parsing that's being done. So we've added a really comprehensive custom agent guide. We've added a guide for streaming. Um, we've added a guide for building an agent that returns structured output. We'll probably add this as an agent type by itself soon. Um, and then lots of functionality around the agent executor itself, including using it as an iterable, handling parsing errors, um, and a lot of other important things.